back to my channel. My name is Amy and I'm with Fisher Hunts, the Midwest Mobile Escape Room. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reset one of those locks. So let's get started. This is one of my favorite locks. It's a six letter cryptex. And right now it's currently set to the word rulers here by the arrows. These gears can be really fussy, so you really have to line up those letters or else the inside won't open. Now to reset it, you'll need this tool that you got when you first purchased the Cryptex. It's a very small tool with very tiny, tiny screws. Luckily they give you extras. So we're going to use this tool on these little screws. There's two of them here so that we can start taking it apart. And I always do my best to not lose these, even though I have extras. The goal is not to lose them. Okay, very carefully. Now I can take this bottom piece off and all of these gears come off all at once. I like to keep them in the same order just because I know they spin well that way, but I think you can change them around if you really want to. Okay, we're gonna change this to the word Fisher just because. So first I'm gonna find the letter it was once on with an R. There should be a notch right underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my finger right in that notch. That's just how I'm gonna hold it. And I'm gonna take off the letter gear around it and change it to be an F or whatever you want your new combination to be. So then we slide that on, make sure your new letter is right above that notch. And once you're done with that one, you can go ahead and put it on your mechanism while you fix the rest of them. Okay, this one is going to be the letter I. Have my finger in the hole. Change it to be an I. And, oops, I got this one to be an H instead. Well, this is another good example. Um, there's a little notch here on the outside and you can see how it fits into all those little grooves. Since I'm just one letter off, I'm gonna move it one notch over. Awesome, now we have an eye. Cool, the rest of this was pretty easy. Just changing it like we did the first two, F-I-S-H-E-R. They don't need to be lined up on the answer for this next part, so they are welcome to spin around. Now I gotta put this outside piece on. You see how there's a notch up here? That lines up with the hole in the inside. And that should line up where your screws go. I gotta be really careful, take these little baby screws, put them back in those holes. And be careful not to screw them all the way in because then they'll be in the way of the middle piece trying to get in. So they'll be flush with the top part. So now I just have to carefully screw those in, make sure they're flush on the top and the bottom. And now we're trying to get this second one in. And against my better judgment, it was tighter to try and screw it in, which is not what you want. Maybe your normal screw jobs where you're screwing a, something in, it's supposed to have a little bit of tension to it, but that is not what you want with this. And the proof that I did it wrong right there you see that left side being pushed in more than the right that is not what it's supposed to look like that means I was pushing in the screw when it wasn't perfectly lined up with its little hole so now I had to go back and screw it out a little bit make sure it's fixed oh that looks much better now we can screw it in see the difference okay now the inner piece can go in, but this is the part where the code now actually has to be lined up on those arrows. Okay, we have Fisher lined up on the arrows. Again, this is pretty fussy, so you might have to mess with it. There we go. Big Cryptex is now all done. I do have another small Cryptex that is kind of similar. Make sure you keep your tool. Don't want to lose that. Okay, 
we have this baby cryptex that only has five letters on it rather than six. It's currently set to the word skull. And this one also has screws on the same side as that last one, except this time we're gonna use this little eyeglass screwdriver because this is just a different kind of screw. I got this Cryptex secondhand, so it's possible that you get tools with it, but I didn't, so I just found the thing I needed around the house. This is all very similar to the other one, so I'm gonna show you to take these screws out, but everything else is basically the same. And that's how you reset a Cryptex. I hope this video helped you, and if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I'm always in the comments, and I will answer your question as soon as I see it. Have a great day, guys. Bye!